Hello everyone, uh, once again it's me Mr. Ting uh, and welcome to the primary 6 math revision videos where I try to do 5 questions from the past year prelim papers and hopefully I get them correct if not it's going to look really bad so without further ado let's start right now so we're going to be looking at CHIJ prelim papers okay so let's take a look so uh, first uh, A and B are two rectangular containers the base area of container A is twice the base area of uh, container B. So container A was filled with water to a height of 18 and B was empty. So what was the volume? Okay so the first question is pretty easy. All we have to do is to multiply our length times breadth times height. So 25 times 18 times 16. Right that would be the volume. Twenty seven thousand CM cube. Okay, so that is uh, this part A, right? It's pretty okay. Next, so all the water from A was poured into B. How much more water was needed to fill from B to the brim? Okay, so uh, what information we have here is that the for the the base area of A is twice the area of B so I can find the area of A first so 60 times 25 1500 so divided by 2 750 so the area here is 750 and now water is being poured uh, inside and that's a 27,000 cm cube. So I want to find the height. So uh, one thing you need to know is that to find the height you just need to take the volume divided by the base area. Now say that with me again. To find the height you take the volume divided by base area. So volume uh, 27,000 divided by base area of 750 I get 750 36 so right now water is being poured inside here and it goes up to 36 centimeters. Okay, I have 36 centimeters. So how much more uh, so how much more water was needed to fill container B to the brim? So since I have uh, up to 36 centimeters, I have 6 centimeters more to go. I just take 750 which is the base area multiply with 6. 750 times 6 4 5 0 0 cm okay so that is the answer that's my answer for first one next okay next okay hopefully you can see this because the last time it was saying that it cannot really see the question okay so hopefully this time it's clearer Alright, now next. So Lisa, Ming and Nin shared some stickers. Lisa had 20% of the stickers. So I got 3% here. L, M, N. Lisa is 20%. Uh, Ming had 66 stickers and Lisa had 12 more than Nin. So Ming is 66, Lisa 12 more. So this is 20% take away 12. Okay, 20% take away 12. So what was the total uh, number of stickers shared among the three children? Total number. Now, uh, over here you are given percentage and some numbers. So what you need to do is to find out um, uh, what is the percentage of 66. Okay, let's find 66. So L... Uh, so if you add them all together, you should get 100%. Uh, what this means is, if I take 20% plus uh, 66 plus 20%, but I gotta take away 12, 
uh, it should be equal to 100%. So that's the total number of stickers that everybody had. Someone coming? No, nobody's coming. Okay. So next, uh, so we add them together to so 40% plus it takes 66, take away 12. Right, that will give you 40, uh, 54. Uh, it's equivalent to 100%. So if 40% plus 54, 54 is equal to 100%, so 60% is equivalent to uh, 54. Okay, so I know some of you or your schools, they are pretty particular about uh, the stuff that you write over here. For example, uh, this this one ah, uh, you're supposed to write arrow. Okay, you cannot write equal sign. Uh, yeah. So if, if I mean your school is very particular about that, please go and write equal sign. Okay, don't please write arrow. Okay, don't write equal sign. But I'm like, yes, fine. Okay, so let's find what is one percent because for me, I think the ability to solve is more important. Okay, so sixty percent is fifty four. Um, I want to find a hundred percent. So let's find ten percent. Uh, so you divide by 6 is 9 so 100% will be 90 so for part A total number of stickers is 90 next we look at the so Lisa bought some more stickers the total number of stickers increased by 10% okay so what was the ratio of the number of stickers Lisa stickers to the total number of stickers the children had in the end so uh, Lisa is the only one who bought stickers. Uh, what this means is the total number of stickers. So if the total increased by 10% and the total is 90, that means 10% is equivalent to 9. Uh, what this means is Lisa bought 9 stickers. So, okay, so uh, at first Lisa had 20%, right? So that's uh, 18. Alright, so plus an additional 9. So Lisa had 27 stickers at the end. Now, if there are 27 stickers at the end, uh, what is the original? You want Lisa stickers to the total number of stickers had in the end. So 99, right? It's 27 out of 99. Oh, sorry, the one ratio. Ratio. So Lisa versus total uh, there's a 27 is to 99 and you want to find the simplest form 3 is to 11 that's it okay next 3 is 11 that's my answer so far so good okay this is from CHIJ next Kama, Larry, and Butu are given some concert tickets to sell. Kama sold one third of the tickets. You see, always, uh, you know, within the first line, I would try to draw some kind of a diagram. So, Kama sold one third, one of three. Larry sold two for the remaining. So, L and Butu sold the rest. So, if uh, one third is sold by Kama, there is two thirds left. So, the remainder is two thirds. So remainder concept, right? So Larry sold two fifth. Now this five is referring to the remainder. But over here I have a remainder of two. So I want to make two and five the same. What I do is I, is I multiply, try to find a common multiple, which in this case is ten. Get it? Okay, so I want to find the common multiple of ten. Uh so to get a common multiple of ten, I gotta multiply the first ratio by uh, one ten. That means I need to multiply by 5. So here is 5 over 15. This is 5 out of 15. Alright, so Larry and who else? Mutu. So uh, Larry and Mutu had 10 units. Okay, so if Larry sold 2 fifth out of 10, that means this is 4 out of 15, and uh, 9 is 6 out of 15. Alright, so this part, uh, if you don't get it, you can go back, rewind the video, listen to what I said, and do it again. This is actually a remainder concept. Okay, so, Kama sold all the Category 1 tickets, while Larry and Mutu sold all the Category 2 
tickets. Mutu collector 208 more than Larry. How much? How much money was collected from the sale of tickets altogether? Okay, so wait, I don't do I have the number? Oh, I only have the amount of money collected. So Mutu collected 208 more than Larry. Uh, so from here I know that the ratio between the number of tickets Mutu sold and Larry sold is 4 is to 6. So that's 4 is to 6 and they only sold the uh, category 2. So that's $8. Okay, so I want to find the number. To find the number I take uh, 208 divided by 8 dollars. Uh, that's 26 so the difference is 4 and 6 so 2 units represents 26 1 unit represents 13 okay so 1 unit is 13 um, how much money was collected or sold all together alright so if 1 unit is 13 I can basically find how many tickets every single one of them so you got to follow the green color right now uh, so 1 unit is 13 I'm going to change all the number of tickets right now 13 so comma so 65 because it's 5 so 4 times 13 52 and 6 times 13 78 okay so this is the number of tickets sold now uh, mutu collected how much was it? okay so now to find the total value that each one collected okay so comma so category 1 so he also sold 65 of them. I take 65 times 13. Hey, hello. Hi. 65 times 13 uh, is 845. You can switch on the lights. Uh, yeah, I didn't switch on the lights over there. Not the light, uh. Uh, it's inside the classroom. This classroom. Yeah, inside the classroom. Okay, next. L, Larry, is uh, 8. So 52 times 8 is 416. And 78 times 8, 6, 2, 4. So I'm supposed to find the total uh, value that was collected by everybody. Okay? Uh, so we're going to add them all together. 8, 4, 5, plus, four, plus 6, 2, 4. Alright. One eight eight five. Okay. Next. Oh, that looks pretty tough. Okay, next. So in the figure below, A B C D is a parallelogram. A B C D. Find A B C. A B C. Very messy, huh? So A, B, C. E, F, J is a square. D equals E, L. D, E equals E, L. Okay. Oh, it's very messy. D, C, G is 138. D, C, G. Uh, B C H is one four six. C H is one hundred and forty six. Stop, stop. A B C. Okay, to find A B C. I know here is ninety. So, uh, the strategy that I like to use for this type of question is just to write out as much angles as I can find. All right. Just, just write as much as possible. So, 90, 90. Okay. So, uh, step one, if I take 180, minus 146, I get 34. So, 34 is 
here B C G and if I know that is thirty four, I can find C B G. Right, it's just ninety take away thirty four. Thirty six. Okay, so that's 56. Uh, honestly, I don't know if I'm on the right track, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So, uh, okay, I, I think I know what to do. 180. Okay, it's going to be a bit messy. Minus 138. This is for angle LCH. Forty two. So LCH forty two inside. Okay, so I can find the one side of the parallelogram, uh, which is DCB. All right, eighty. Take away forty two. Take away thirty four. Alright, so one zero four. So inside here is one hundred four. <sighs> Very tedious. One's right, wrong. Okay, one zero four. Tedious. Okay, so one zero four degrees. So basically, I can find ABC. So angle ABC equals to one hundred eighty minus one zero four seventy six. Okay, so that's my first uh, answer. That's seven six B D E L B E L. Let's use red. So this D L. Wait a minute. Okay, it's not hundred eighty. So D E L forty two. Okay, if this is forty two. I gotta find here. So angle H L C. 90 minus 42 48 so vertically opposite this is also 48 now if this two uh, 48 because it's an isosceles triangle uh, so it's 48 that means the top I can find uh. so D E L D E L goes to 180. Take away two times of 48. Eighty-four. Hopefully I'm correct, okay? Because it's so tedious. Oh, I don't want to do this again, no. Okay. Next. Oh. Final question. So far, I've taken about 18 minutes, right? So, yeah, so it takes about 5 minutes per question. Let's take a look at this one. The figure below is made out of 3 different squares and a circle with diameter 10. What is the total shaded area? What is going on? 3 different squares. Where is square? 1, 2, 3. Okay, and a circle 